Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I have tested a lot of what you might call compact stove systems, kind of complete compact stove system. I'm thinking like jet boil, MSR wind burner systems, the fire maple systems, even like the camp chest system, which is my far and away most popular video ever, may actually get to a million views. That's crazy. Although super efficient, I have never carried one of these systems on trail. They're just too big. They're too bulky. They weigh too much. I, I worry too much about weight. So why would I possibly carry one of these huge systems out there with me when I'm on trail trying to cut my weight? So is there a way to get similar performance with much less weight? Well, I think there is. Stay tuned and I'll show you guys. Now for several years I've seen products from the company Flat Cat Gear and I've watched videos from John, their owner, with all kinds of really cool stuff. And I've always thought about picking stuff up, but I've never really done it. I'm not really sure why. Well, it happens a lot on this channel that John reached out to me and he said, listen, I got a couple of products I think you'll really, really like. Do you want to check them out? If you're interested in doing a review, that's great. But listen, I don't really care. I'm proud of my products. I want you to check them out, see what you think. I started to look around at the Flat Cat Gear uh, website and I thought, man, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. I, I didn't realize just how many products and how much innovation they've put into their products. So I was pretty excited to check out two products that he sent me. Today we're gonna look at the Ocelot Inferno HX system designed to use the Sterno Inferno um, mug or, or cup from Sterno. Let me show you guys how simple yet stupid effective this product is. So this is the HX adapter plate, okay? And it works very, very simply. Um, the Inferno pot will sit right on top like this and it fits perfectly right on top of it. And this actually attaches to the Pocket Rocket 2 or the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It's important to know that no modifications to the stove are needed. Um, and basically it really provides pretty impressive wind protection. If you can see that it's gonna pop right on there and there's gonna be really no, no place for the wind to go. The plate itself is made out of stainless steel, it weighs 21 grams. You can also get a replacement um, lid for the Sterno Inferno that's very ultra light that's uh, 1.4 ounces and John also sent me this little windscreen that attaches to the side of your pot and it, it's perfectly made so it slides right in there it's not going to come off at all okay and when you put that and you put the wind coming straight from this side really creates a lot of protection show you real quick how it works with this pocket rocket uh, 2 instead of having the the uh, pot stands like that you're going to want to actually turn the pot stands on their side like this, okay? And then these little slits, they basically slide in and they pop on like that. They kind of center themselves once they're seated, just like that, okay? You can see the way that it pops on there. And this allows the burner part of the, uh, the stove to go up inside of the pot, okay? So it really goes outside of the wind, as you can see. The profile is super, super nice, okay? And that just pops right on there. And if you make sure that the wind is coming from this side, the plate really stops the wind from hitting pretty much any of the flame, which is really, really cool. Now the price is not cheap. And this is something that, you know, a lot of people will complain about. It's $32.50. Uh, I think it's $7 for this little windscreen right here. Um, it's understandable that people would think that's a little bit high, but you have to understand that this is a small company. So cost-wise, um, you know, they're gonna have to create a product. They're gonna have to create the tooling to make it. They're gonna have to figure out how to make it specifically for this stove alone. So I think a lot of research and development goes into that. If you look cost-wise, the burner, the wind burner personal system is $150. Let's say you pay $40 for the HX plate and the lid, $40 for the Inferno pot, $45 for the Pocket Rocket 2, you're looking at about $125, okay? If you throw in the Pocket Rocket Deluxe, you're right at $150. Now, weight is where you really start to, to talk about things. The wind burner itself is 15.3 ounces, so basically a pound. We'll just call it a pound. It has a boil capacity of two cups. So this system with the Pocket Rocket 2, including everything else, is just about, just under eight ounces and it's only 0.3 ounces heavier with the Deluxe. So basically you're looking at half a pound versus a pound. That is 
massive savings in the ultralight world. It's really pretty impressive how much weight you lose. Now what's also impressive is just how well the wind burner works at blocking the wind. We've had videos on that. I'll put a link down below to a specific video about the wind burner if you want to check it out. We're going to go ahead and boil some water. We're going to limit these tests to just wind tests only. Okay, we're going to put the fan about one foot away from the stove. We're going to set it on low. That is a pretty significant uh, test for these stoves. It basically simulates a constant wind. It's very hard on these stoves. You'll see, for example, the pocket rocket will really struggle. It doesn't have a lot of good wind protection. The, the deluxe stove will do better, and I know this because of prior testing. So we're going to take a look and we're going to boil two cups of water. We're going to measure fuel consumption for the pocket rocket by itself, the pocket rocket with the HX plate, the pocket rocket deluxe by itself, the pocket rocket deluxe with the HX plate, and the MSR wind burner. All of these are going to be done with the wind going. So real quick, just to tell you guys the, the numbers uh, for review, I'll read these to you guys. The Pocket Rocket 2 alone uh, with wind took 6 minutes 39 seconds and it used 22 grams of fuel. The Pocket Rocket 2 with the HX plate uh, boiled in 2 minutes 47 seconds and used 8 grams of fuel. The Pocket Rocket Deluxe alone boiled in 3 minutes 13 seconds and used 14 grams of fuel. And the Pocket Rocket Deluxe with the HX plate took a minute 44 seconds and used only six grams of fuel. That's pretty impressive considering the fact that the MSR wind burner, one minute 40 seconds, so only four seconds faster than the Pocket Rocket Deluxe with the HX plate, and it used five grams of fuel versus six grams of fuel. So basically four seconds slower for the HX plate and the Pocket Rocket Deluxe, and one gram of fuel more. So those are the results. Pretty impressive results. I think very, very nice kit. It, it does exactly what they said it's going to do. So as always, we're going to talk pros and cons. We'll start with the pros. It's super lightweight. It does nest inside of the Sterno Inferno cup, which is really nice. It has very impressive wind resistance, very similar to the wind burner at a lot lower weight. And it takes seconds to take off. You can use your Pocket Rocket or Pocket Rocket Deluxe in normal mode, just without it, or attach this on there, it comes on in seconds. You don't have to do any permanent damage to your stove to make it work. It's also a small company that's easy to support. I love supporting small companies, so it's pretty easy to do. Limitations, of course, it's limited to only use with the Pocket Rocket 2 or the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It's also limited to use only with the Sterno Inferno. You're really using something very purpose-built and purpose uh, purposefully designed to use with this system. Compared to the wind burner, you don't save all that much money. Basically the same if you use the Pocket Rocket Deluxe, but you are saving a boatload of weight. It also does have a smaller volume, I think, for, for effective boiling. And most of the time when you're ultra lighting, you really don't need a lot of water. So you don't need to boil more than two cups. You can boil two cups in this. You have to be very careful with the Sterno Inferno pot because it's, it's really near the top. But if you're careful, you'll be all right. In the end, this company makes a claim that this particular product is going to be just about as good as the much heavier wind burner system from MSR, and our testing shows 
that they're pretty much on the money. Now I can hear a lot of you now saying it's just too much money, it costs too much, how could you spend so much money on a couple pieces of stamped stainless steel? I don't necessarily disagree with you. If you look at it, you think, why does it cost so much? But here's the thing, these companies like Flat Cat, they're competing against humongous companies with huge R&D departments, lots more money, and they have to find a way to recuperate their investment that they make in designing uh, the tooling and getting all this made, quality control. Everything comes together for them. They put together a good product, and you're gonna end up paying more because it's kind of a cottage industry. I mean, again, you're looking at specifically made products that, that accompany other commercially sold products that allow you to utilize those products more effectively. It's basically like an add-on to those things. And the bottom line is it just works. Now, if you're concerned about the $32, I will tell you, if you're here because you're an ultralight kind of fanatic, right? And you're like me and you would probably never take the wind burner system out on trail for one simple reason. It's a pound, right? It weighs a pound. I wouldn't take it. I've never taken anything like a jet boil or the wind burner out on trail. It just, it's too heavy. So how much money would you pay to save half a pound? I think you'd pay $32. As I mentioned earlier, I got another product from Flat Cat that I'm going to review. It's an Ocelot wind system or wind screen for the Pocket Rocket 2 and Pocket Rocket Deluxe as well, so stay tuned for that down the road. A big thanks to John from Flat Cat Gear for reaching out to me, sending this stuff to me. Again, he sent it to me, no questions asked, didn't ask for a review, just said, hey man, I know you love stoves, I think you'll like these, check them out. And I really did like them and I decided you guys probably would want to check them out as well. Not sure if you're aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves, so make sure you check that out down below. Uh, all kinds of stoves, so check those out. As always, guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you don't mind, stop right now, and a lot of you are not subscribed. I love it if you could just hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. If you want to hit the, the, the thumbs up, that's great. If you want to hit the notification bell, that's great as well. But what really helps the most are those subscriptions. So make sure you hit the subscription button. Make sure you don't miss any new videos. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel here on the coast of Alabama, enjoying a little peace and quiet, shooting some videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.